So guys, I'm back with an update regarding the um, issue I was having with getting the, the wheel to sit in properly with the RS6 calipers and discs. Um, so I've managed to get it to sit. So this is the best that I'm going to get it at the moment. I'm going to drop it down in a second and show you. So what I've done to correct the issue that I was having. So basically the wheel, if you, if you have a look, see now? The wheel was sitting pretty near enough flush with the with the um, with the wing. The problem I was having before is the tire was coming out to here. Uh, one way I corrected that was changing the alloy wheels. Those are the wheels that came with the vehicle. These are the wheels I had from a previous S4, which I kept. Um, so that's corrected the issue. The other issue was that the the bottom of the wheel was sitting out too far compared to the top. It wasn't flush. So try to give you an overview. I mean, that's what it's like at the moment. It's pretty good. Um, like I said, I corrected that with changing one of the arms. So basically I brought the S4 control arm kit online, um, which to do that with the A6 knuckle, you need to have a bush made for the front, the, the front lower rear arm. Um, that's a 16 millimeter ball joint. And the one that goes in there I think is about 19. So um, you need to have a bush made for that one to fit. I'm still waiting for mine, it's coming. Um, so what I've done is, which one have I? So this here is the original S4 arm. This here is the Audi A6 arm. So I did try it with both A6 arms. I've got the arms there. So both Audi A6 arms. Um, and the wheel, unfortunately, as you can see, it pushes the wheel far too back this way, or pushes the knuckle too back this way and causes it to hit the chassis here. So with only one of the arms changed, which is the upper rear arm of the A6 and then the um, upper front arm, the A4, it sits perfectly in the center, doesn't hit the sides. I get good full lock left and right. Um, I've got it sitting equally the side as well. So also again, another thing I'll point out is to get the S4 arms to fit in the knuckle because they don't fit, they're too, they're too small. Instead of paying a load of money to have some sleeves made, this here is a 15 millimeter copper pipe, which I've split down the middle and slid onto the ball joint. Um, now you might be thinking, well, that doesn't seem very safe. Let me just show you. So if you see this here, see this groove here? This actually locks it on to the ball joint. Let's see if try and get it off here. But like I was saying, it's got a little see that it's got a little groove inside it's actually when you when you put it on it clips on so that doesn't come out and when you slide that into the knuckle that is a perfect fit inside the knuckle and what I've done is I've just where the bolt goes through I've made sure the opening in the um, copper pipe is where the bolt goes through to help lock it in even more so that does actually work and it costs 25p each one so that's a bargain mate and it works so that's on there. Let's drop it down and have a look. So as you can see, compared to the last video, it is sitting 10 times better. I mean, the wheel isn't straight at the moment. Let me just straighten the wheel up. That's the wheel straight. You can see it's got a very, very slight, um, at the bottom it's sticking out very slightly compared to the top, but it's ever so slightly. I mean, to be fair with you, it's probably gonna help with handling, being um, angled the way it is, um, but it's ever so slightly. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, the other wheel, like I said, was sitting out way too far. 
Um, I need to get the tracking done. The, the, the tracking's all off. Um, I mean, I'll show you what. I mean, that's, that's the other side. Um, so that's how the other side sits. Again, you can tell my tracking is slightly out here. It's not the best. And funnily enough, I did have the tracking done recently and that's supposed to be straight. So, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, let me try and straighten it. I think that's with the wheel pretty much. I mean, that's pretty straight to be honest with you. Um, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. I'm happy to leave it there. I mean, again, either side of the wheel, I've got um, an even gap either side, so there shouldn't be any rubbing. If you can see up there, plenty of space between the uh, the knuckle there and the chassis. Um, so yeah, so pretty happy. So again, if anyone's looking to do the RS6 um, caliper upgrade for the S4, you're gonna need the A6 knuckle. You're gonna need an A6 upper rear arm. Um, all the rest of the arms will be for the uh, S4. And then you need to get a bush made for the lower rear arm. Um, my local machine shop was able to do it, no problem. They just said it might take a bit of time. So I don't know, um, someone else might know of, uh, of more options, but that for me, that was my option. Uh, that seems to work for me. I've got the wheel sitting where I want it. Um, you can see, I mean, I don't know if you want to have a look at this. Um, that is close. That is literally so close. We've had a flashlight, I could give you a better view, but we are talking seriously close there. Um, I mean, that's a... I mean, it's close, but plenty of gap still. Still plenty of gap. So, I mean, I'll give it a spin round so we can see, just uh, show you. I mean, you can imagine. Yeah, that looks cool as that, mate. That looks good. So yeah, so I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a rest and go in after I've been stressing for the last few days of how I'm gonna make these discs, which cost me an arm and a leg because these, these were seriously expensive. I mean, online they're going about a thousand pounds. I mean, luckily I picked up a bargain. I went to a store in Halifax and he done me the discs and the pads for, I think it was about eight, 800, um, which was a lot cheaper than anywhere else online. The, the calipers I actually picked up about five years ago for about 200 pounds for the pair. Um, that was a steal to be honest with you, that was, that was a bargain. Um, so this is one of the reasons why I wanted to fit them because even if I go for another option, there's, I mean, I'm looking four or 500 pound plus for just calipers. That's not even including discs. So yeah, so um, the only thing I've got left to do, to be honest with you, is I've got the a new brake hose come in because the S4 one is too short. It doesn't reach. I have to take into consideration of the, um, the full locks. I mean, so yeah, so I've got a brake hose coming. I think it was 375 millimeter brake hose. Um, I don't think that's going to be enough to be honest with you, but I'll give it a go. And hopefully if that doesn't work, I'll have to go back online and try to source something else. So yeah, so I'm going to wrap up now, guys. Um, I'm going to uh, pack up and go in. I'm going to advertise the rims with tires for sale. If anyone wants me, just he wants them, just messaging me, message me. These are Yokohamas. To be fair, I'm not so savvy on tires, but apparently these are um, semi racing tires or something. I was told. Um, I'll put the details 
in the description. Um, if anyone does want, like, um, does want them, let me know. And obviously, um, yeah, we'll, we'll try to work out a deal or something. Obviously, I'll do the tyres with, with the wheels. So four tyres with the yellow wheels we've got for sale. And hopefully give me more money to fund more parts for the S4. So yeah, guys, I'll be back during the week with another video for the other side. Uh, I'm going to strip all that out and get that going. And then I'll have another video with the brake hose for the um, calipers. So yeah, catch you later.